Hi everyone, it's Mimi again. Um, just wanted to show you what came in today. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, you know I'm still getting over this cold, but these are little brads that I have just received. They're little heart brads, and they're super cute. And then we got two different sizes of these little envelopes. Um, this is going to be for samples of different rubs that my girlfriend makes. And um, she is going to use these this size for the actual you know, product. And I believe she's ordered another size too. But anyway, um, <laughs> so my husband was asking, what are these? <laughs> but they're to hold rubs. So she does like, um, you know, like for steaks or um, fish or, you know, any kind of fowl or anything like that. She does a bunch of different kinds of rubs. And um, I will let you guys know, um, I think she's going to, I think she's got some ready right now. Um, and I'll, I'll let you know for sure. But um, I'll, what I'm going to do is when I finish these, I'll show you what they look like. Um, I'm not going to tell you everything that's going to be on them, but <laughs> these are two of the things that are going to be on here. And um, I will tell you that it's going to be another little tag. And that's gonna go something like that. And then um, when I get them uh, going, I'll probably do like a little tutorial with you guys just to show you um, how I do it because you guys, this is really easy stuff to do. And um, and then I'll also link uh, her page on Facebook. Her name is Laura Case. And she, um, I'll tell you guys, she makes the most amazing rubs. She makes syrups, rubs, um, any of your uh, like your extracts your she does vanillas and she, she does all kinds of different extracts it's crazy what uh, she's she, and it's all really really good none of the rubs have um, salt in them but you would never know it because I mean the way she does it it's just like yummy in your mouth you know so <laughs> anyway um, I, I will make sure I let you guys know when I'm gonna do that and um, Till then, I just wanted to show you what we got. These cute little envelopes that uh, are going to be some, This one, like I said, this is going to be for um, the samples and this is going to be the actual product. So this one will probably be quite full. This one's probably just going to be like a little bit to, you know, maybe like this to let people try and sample them. So anyway, there's that. And I will see you guys um, for the next video, which is my Dollar Tree haul. Be looking forward to it. Bye. Hi, everybody. It's Mimi stamping with the Grandma Giggles. Okay, so this is take two. <laughs> I uh, I got uh, started on the first one, and my voice gave out. And then uh, I went up to look to make sure, and then I'll be danged if I didn't just stop it. <laughs> I was like, doggone it. So take two. <laughs> Um, I might be taking drinks and you might be hearing a little bit of silence here. So don't worry, it's not you, but I've already done three other videos. So <laughs> my voice is giving out very fast. Okay, so where do you order everything? Where do you join my team? Where do you order your paper pumpkin every month? You're going to go to mimitakahara.stampinup.net. Okay, now you already know you're, you're watching me on YouTube. Um, Stampin' with the Grandma Giggles is also my Facebook name. Um, what I'd like to ask you guys is please subscribe and, and hit that bell. Um, tell all your friends because I have this great big giveaway. Um, there's at least $200 worth of products in this basket I'm giving away. So when we hit 1,000 subscribers, that sucker's going to go to somebody that's watching. Um, tell your friends and your family. And then when they mention you in the comments that they they found me through you, you get an additional ticket. So for each person that you refer to me, you get an additional ticket into the pot. And then I'm going to draw out of that pot so you'll have better chances if you keep referring to me. All right. So there's that. Um, I, here I just reiterate... <laughs> To order supplies, join my team or join Paper Pumpkin Monthly, go to mimitakahara.stampinup.net. Now when you want to order, you're going to use host, host code 
B6FZKGFV, and this is good through December 20th. So um, if you happen to be like, okay, I want, I can't order till December 21st, that's okay. I'll have a different host code for you. Okay, so don't worry about it. Um, these host codes, I, I keep them for about two weeks, three weeks, sometimes even a whole month. So it'll, it'll. It'll depend on how many orders we have. If I get a whole huge order, I'll I'll do it every couple of weeks. But for the most part, we'll see. You know, we'll just kind of play it by ear. Okay, so now there's a couple products that are not stamping up, and that is these little envelopes, which I showed you in a previous video, which I might actually connect to this one. I'm not sure yet. And these little brads, these little cute little pink heart brads. And um, so those are... Oh, and this, the Cropodile, are not Stampin' Up! products. What is Stampin' Up? Okay, this new paper trimmer. And, um, you guys, this is a must-have. Um, I'm telling you right now, it's the best paper trimmer I've ever used in my life. So, it has, it doesn't just have inches, but it has, you know, the centimeters. So, wherever you are in the country. But it goes up to 17 inches on this side here. And then you just click it back in there. And then it has the score tool plus the cutting tool. And this clicks in here super nice and easy. And it, it doesn't come out. It doesn't come off. So it's really nice. Um, and then we're going to use this Woodland Textures Embossing Folder. So this is kind of, you can see kind of what it looks like. But um, the actual piece is um, right here. And... Um, <clears throat> When we use this, we're going to put the cards in. Now, you can put them like this to go through or like this. I will tell you the reason I prefer that way is because you get you, you get um, extra pieces. We'll get into that in a second, and I'll tell you about that. And then we're going to use Whisper White cardstock. It's the 8.5 by 11 thick cardstock. And then we're using the De Delightful Tag Topper Punch. Now, the fun thing about this, okay, so first of all, I didn't close it back up after I messed up on the last video. It locks, so there's no, you know, there's no um, damaging it and whatever else. Um, but when you're ready, you just push that down and unlock it, and it pops right up. The great thing about this is it already punches the hole for you, so you don't have to worry about that. And the best thing is it does one inch, one and a half inch, and two inch tags. Now you can make them as long as you want or you can make them as short as you want and um, it doesn't matter you know I've used a 12 inch piece of paper in here you know it comes out like this and then I cut it off where I want and then stick the other piece in here I just go and I've actually had some tags that are 8 inches long so it doesn't matter how long they are I mean you can make them however long you want but I love this tool it's just a really neat thing now the other thing that um, Stampin' Up! does not carry anymore um, we're hoping for the 2021 20, year, you know, 2020-2021 year. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to happen, but a little birdie kind of, it's kind of going around that we'll be getting a, um, a new Big Shot, Size X Big Shot. And um, I'm, I'm really hoping that happens because we've got a lot of really cool um, embossing folders and die cuts and all those fun things. So, all right, let's get to this. I don't want this to be too awfully long. So, what you're going to do is you're going to get your 8.5 by 11 paper, and you're going to use your Stampin' Up! paper trimmer, and you're going to cut it directly in half, which will be 5.5, okay? Because that's the 11-inch side, and if you cut it in half, it's going to be 5.5. And, and then once you have all those done, you're going to cut those at 4 and a quarter, because half of 8.5 is 4 and a quarter. So you're going to end up with a bunch of pieces that look like this. You have the blank pieces, okay? And um, this is where I was telling you. Now, I personally prefer all the branches on it. You can go down here further and not have as many branches or, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, you prefer. But I like having more branches, so I usually put it right about here. And if you can see, there's a little black line across here. It kind of gives me an idea of how to make it, you know, you can make it straight. And I don't always use it. Most of the time I just eyeball it. But then you're going to take it through your Big Shot machine. 
Now let me get a piece of plain paper so you can see what I'm actually doing here. And like this, and then <clears throat> I use a couple of little, um, these are actually the embossing sheets and then my plastic piece on top this thing and I'll tell you guys this is a lot of people have talked about how it sounds like it's cracking and breaking it's not gonna break it just every time you use a new die it just makes a new little it, I guess it does sound like it's cracking but it really isn't it'll last you for a long time but you just roll it through like this and if you are one of those people who has an electric big shot machine congratulations I admire you <laughs> <laughs> and um, I hope that I get one soon. <laughs> so then I'm going to put these back like this. Kind of put it back in my little big shot machine here. And then open it up and you can see how it turns out. Hopefully, I, I don't know if you can actually see it or not, but there's the, the raised size side here. And this side, it actually, it's indented, so instead of being up, it's down. But anyway, you can use either side, whatever you prefer. So once you have that in this piece, then you can cut it up into one inch. I'm doing it one inch and one and a half inch pieces because that's what my friend Laura wants on um, her little envelopes. And the one inch size is for the, the mini envelope. And the one and a half inch size is for the, I guess it's a small envelope. And so what happens is um, when you get to cutting these on your Stampin' Up! Um, paper trimmer, you get four one inch pieces and one one and a half inch, one, one and a half inch piece out of one card. And these are just about the perfect length as well for these um, envelopes. You can also do um, cut it where it's three one and a half inch pieces with a one inch piece left over, which is kind of why I like using this side because it's like the perfect sizing when you're using one and one and a half inch pieces. So then you're going to take your handy dandy little um, tag topper punch here. And you're going to take it all the way, the one inch piece goes all deep in the middle there, and you push it all the way up as far as it'll go, pop it out, and there's your, there's your little tag. I'm not sure how close I can get here. So, isn't that cute? And it was so simple, right? So here's your one and a half inch. You just go on the middle lines there, push it all the way up, punch it out, and there you go. Oh, I did that one kind of crooked, but, yeah, oh well. It's not too tough. You know, what is a video from me without some sort of something happening? <laughs> so, so that's that. <clears throat> now, also, I wanted to be able to show you a little bit better. So I kind of, and you can do this if you want to anyway. Um, kind of ignore the coloring on this one. It kinda, it's, it's supposed to be walnut, but it looks more like um, what I would find in a baby's diaper. So... <laughs> But this can this shows you how you can it kind of shows you how it stands up a little bit, and then this is a copper coloring um, with our new Delicata um, inks. Um, I'm not sure if there's any of these left, you guys. Uh, we sold out of these really fast. I knew that I know that they ordered a few more, but um, I don't know how many they have left. So um, the sale on these ends January 3rd. So if you want these Delicata inks and they are gorgeous. Um, it's not this one. It's, you know, these beautiful coppers. It, they're copper, gold, and silver. Um, these are the best sh um, um, inks that are, um, oh my gosh, you guys, I am so sorry. <laughs> um, um, um. <laughs> like glitter inks they're like glitter inks that's what I'm looking for but they're the best that I have ever used and that's um you know that's that's not me trying to sell them to you that's me honest to goodness they are the best I've ever used so anyway back to what we were doing <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold these down now um you can make your own envelopes I actually do make a lot of my own envelopes and a lot of my own um bags but 
We actually got these from Amazon so we could get it done quicker because I've got a lot of other stuff. I've got 800 bags I'm making for Laura too. And so this is just gonna be faster. Oops, we got one that's stuck together. Hmm, okay. But um, anyway, so we have our little Brad's. She wanted the pink hearts and I thought that was super cute. And then I'm gonna take one of these little tags here and see kind of where I want it placed. I'm gonna cut it off. I'm gonna get your little Stampin' Up snips and cut it right about there. And then you get your crop dial and I'm gonna do mine at, I think I'm gonna do 3 16th. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do 3 16th because that's about the same size as this other white hole here. And I just kind of see where I want it and then I punch it and then it does the envelope too. And then you stick the little tag, little Brad, I almost said tag again. Jeez. Whoop, 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 whoop. Stick little, little Brad in here. And there you have your little card. Now you can do whatever, you can make this like a flag looking tag or you can, you know, um, there's all kinds of fun scissors out there that you can use for that too. So there's that one. And then for this one, we're going to use the bigger one. Now, as you can see here, that was like almost the perfect length. So I'm not going to cut anything off of that one. And I do want it here. So I'm going to go to the 3 16ths again, because that seems to be what um, is the exact size of the whole other hole from the punch. So there we go. And we take another little heart brad. Excuse my fingers, I've been playing with ink, so they're all dirty. I promise it's not baby doo-doo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So we're going to fold these over like this. And there we go. All right, so that's just super simple, super cute. Um, Laura will be putting her rubs. She does um, all kinds of rubs, as I mentioned in the previous video. She And so those are gonna go in here. This is gonna be a little sample one, and this is gonna be for the full rubs. And then she's going to um, be able to put her, um, the, the name of the, the rub on here or on the back, and then she'll be able to stamp her business name on the little envelope. You know, or vice versa, the name of the rub on the envelope and then her stamp, her business stamp here. So those are some cute little things. And again, you know, if you guys want, you can do something like this. Um, that can go on there. Uh, this walnut, uh, I probably wouldn't use that color. <laughs> but, you know, any of those um, colors, you have, we have lots of brown colors or stamping up inks that would look super pretty and um, you could do like a silver on this for like Christmas time and then put like a star in here a silver star or a gold gold star so these delicata inks you could really pull those into here and and uh, do all kinds of stuff you can stamp on these envelopes you guys I, I mean there's a lot of fun stuff you can do um, I just I just wanted to make sure you guys could see this and see how super cute they are. I mean, it's so easy, weren't that? Wasn't that easy? I mean, just like bam, 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 it's done. Now, I will tell you, running these through the embossing machine from this to this, it's a little bit time consuming. But if you're like me and you have to have your legs up or you just want to sit in a nice comfy couch or chair or whatever, get yourself a, a TV tray or some other sort of table and run them through while you're watching your favorite show on TV or, or listening to your music or whatever. And um, before you know it, they'll all be done. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. And um, I'll be back next week, hopefully with some more hauls and uh, I going to try and get some stuff together tonight for a card because there's a card I have in mind that I want to try and make with you guys and I hope it turns out as good as my brain thinks it will. <laughs> anyway, hugs and love everybody. Bye.